Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Cheap shot. Hello, Cheap Shot Nation. You're watching Cheap Shot Entertainment System, and this is SmackDown vs. Raw on the PS2. We're playing through the season mode, and we're heading into Judgment Day to face. René Dupree for Tory Wilson's contract and yes that is a storyline <laughs> um, so yeah we've got um, did we buy some experience I think we did actually uh, yeah we did we bought some experience points so we should be more suited to uh, Winning this match and winning the managerial services of one Miss Tori Wilson, a lady who I've worshipped ever since she came into the WWE way back during the invasion. Just a shame that the women's wrestling didn't really... See, this would be epic because they have all the music going after it as well. Do -do 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 -do. Or maybe some kind of, um, you know, lump biscuit, maybe. Um, you know, just one more thing, and you get no. Okay, I'll shut up now. Well, your challenge for tonight's match was accepted. Are you sure you understand the implications of the match? When Kurt Angle was general manager of SmackDown. I understand that after tonight, I don't have to worry about him putting his hands on Tori. That's all that matters. <laughs> Unless, of course, you lose. What did you say? If you lose... You're going home alone, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. <laughs> oh, stare down. America versus France. Two worlds collide in a burning heart. So, Van Damme beat Booker T in a singles match. We've got Shane Woodstock versus Rene Dupree in the last man standing match. And a singles match for the championship between John Bradshaw Layfield and Eddie Guerrero. Let's get into the last man standing match right here on Judgment Day. Making his way to the ring from Paris, France, weighing in at 260 pounds, Rene Dupree. Hey, Fifi. Is Terry Wilson making her way down to the ring on her own? Well, this is 2004. So our arena would be 2003, because it's after WrestleMania. But just look how cool that stage is, man. We miss all that in the HD era. And the French tickle are the most devastating move in professional wrestling back in 2003.
Oh, I went to uh, change the music, didn't I? There's that 60s guy, Shane Woodstock, the devious, dastardly hippie, the hippie of hardcore, the peacemaker via Jamaica. It is Shane Woodstock. Also known as the cat, because I couldn't pick the hippie in the creation suite. So, the last man standing match. The object of the match is to win by a 10 count knockout. Try to use as many high damage moves as possible so that your opponent will stay down longer. When you want to finish your opponent off, try using a finishing move and then move away from the opponent so the referee can count him out. This is the same principle as. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Royal Rumble. Hmm, Rumble. Kim Prince for Ayrton. Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. First superstar to score a knockout will win. Good evening and welcome to a sold out show from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Michael Cole here. I want to get out of the room. Thank you. Yay! You think that these superstars different styles gives one of them an advantage? Not necessarily. A little oh. big guy can move faster than a big powerful guy. I need to know how to get things from underneath the ring. No! I hope we get to see some submission moves. I love watching a guy tap out. Ha! No! Right. That's not good. Um. Right. Okay. I have no idea how to pick up weapons. <sighs> oh, managed to get out of the ring. He could be getting a little overconfident here. And yeah. This capacity crowd is certainly getting its money's worth tonight. No, stop running. This match is really starting to heat up. It really wants to be back in that ring, doesn't it? Aha! No! Not cool, man. One of these superstars hits their finishing move so.
Tá vendo? Oh, wow. Ok. Well, that was rubbish. Um, I think we've got time for another match. But uh, we sadly haven't won the services of Tory Wilson um, on this occasion. Sorry, we have failed to gain the services of Tory Wilson. Make sure you look for other divas throughout season mode. You may be able to convince them to join you as a manager. Damn it! I got beaten by a Boston Crab. They get some more cash then, um, which is good. So we can up those stats just a little bit more. I was never going to go well. Last man standing match. Um, it was never going to go well. And so it would seem that um, we can't up the stats, but here is Charlie Haas. Is we've got a match tonight. Yes, we have. I keep hearing that you're supposed to be this amazing superstar, but I haven't seen anything from you that's impressed me so far. I need some jobbers to beat. Um, look who's talking. I'd say that you were uh, past your prime. Yeah, of course. Um, but I don't think you ever had one. I don't care what you think. You see, I'm the most skilled superstar to ever set foot in the ring. And I'll prove it to you tonight in a submission-only match. Oh, lovely. It's just setting me up to fail, isn't it? This game, I mean... Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to attack him. I'm going to get the upper hand on he this one. jumped him from behind. Yeah, you damn right it did. I'm telling you right now, Cole, not for nothing. If that guy would have said those things to me, I would have done the same thing to him, Cole. Thanks, Taz. It's good to have some backup in this situation. So I've gone from... Come from a last man standing match, which I lost miserably by someone putting a submission move on me, to a submission match with a submission wrestler. Welcome to SmackDown vs. Raw. Oh, I'm not cutting the promo. Coming down to the ring with purpose. Shane Woodstock. The hardcore hippie. The peacemaker via Jamaica, if you know what he's smoking. And uh, a haircut to boot as well. Pink, long hair. Candy floss style. Charlie Haas is obviously still feeling the effects of that. <laughs> yeah. I get a, a, a uh, head start on this guy. Fab times. Booker T.
Let's do like three moves and he's like beating me already. Never shake hands with a hippie. Missed it. Now I have to pick up weapons now, but obviously I can't use those in the submission match. I didn't say anything, Taz. Mission only. No. Oh, at least I've gone to uh, orange. Actually, say anything. I wonder if he's he's classed as background music. Not wrong there, though, is he? Oh, man. Ah! This capacity crowd is certainly getting his money's worth tonight.
Yeah, you got run, that was a road break. It's not very likely that I'm going to escape this, is it? Aha! Into a submission. Oh man! Yeah, he's he's good, man. He's good with those submissions. Man, Cole, I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. That was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no! It's coming in his finisher! It's the lasso from El Paso! I'm not going to escape this, am I? Definitely doing better. Well, they're doing a lot better, but uh, no, he's, he's going to reverse it. No, I'm escape. I escape. No way. Straight in there again. Not getting very far here. I mean. Did I just break that? Oh man! Big thumbs up for the referee. He's done a hell of a job controlling this match. I'm gonna do that, and then straight into the ah uh, oh, submission. I would have been. Yeah, you can't pin me, Charlie. Oh, he's just he's just reversing everything now. This is uh, this is cra crazy. Rope break. Yeah, you can tell me about it. This is a rope break, man. He's gonna have his second smackdown before I've even got one here. Yeah, just reversing, reversing, reversing. Can't get a lick in on him.
I made him tap! I made him tap! Yeah! That's how you come back from a loss in a last man standing match for the contract of Tory Wilson. <laughs> Gonna look at him. Gonna continue. Right, so before we go, sorry, Maltese is again. Needs most. Before we go, I'm gonna buy some more experience points because that is what we need. And then we're gonna. Oops. Nope. Uh, gonna go to attributes. And put those experience points into good use. So, we're pretty good with submissions, but I think I'm going to put one on there anyway. We definitely need more speed. Um, and definitely more strength. So when we come to doing those moves, it's going to be much more intense, shall we? Say and... Uh, yeah, why not get some charisma and some more technique? Got 78 left, so we can put that on to submission, which we're pretty good at anyway. Um, or on to charisma, so that if we are going to our opponents it will fill up this Smackdown meter a little bit more but obviously the better stats you get the quicker your um, stat meter increases and the better chance you've got of hitting your Smackdown finisher and that is the top tip for today and uh, yeah I'm going to leave it there because this one's been a long video with the two huge matches although one wasn't quite as long as the other You've been watching Cheap Shy Entertainment System. I hope you've enjoyed watching SmackDown vs. Raw on the PS2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.